That ain't just one sound, that's all of them. All right, so I'm gonna show y'all how to put an automation over your whole entire song, okay? I mean, drum, piano, everything that's playing, just like if it was coming out the out, okay? So let's say, for instance, like you wanted an effect on this, okay? You know, can't no, we can't do no automation on that. All right, so we're gonna hit play. All right, so you may want to put that type of automation on your whole shading thing. You know what I mean? The whole beat. You feel me? So I'm gonna show y'all exactly what to do. All right, so let's say you got your track already, your song already mapped out. You got it in song mode. It's ready to go. You got all your drops, everything you needed in there already prepared. All right. Now, some people will export your the files from right here. But me personally, I push it over to convert to sequence. Okay. Yeah, so if you want to do any automation to that one track, do that now. Okay? Because the next step is going to be over all the tracks. All right? Okay. So once you got that done, go to menu. Go to save. Go to audio mix down. Go to explode tracks. Create you a folder. You want to leave them as a wave though. Create a folder, so I'm going to put another folder in here and call it two. All right, once you do that, hit save. Now, what this doing, this exporting all your stems into one folder, okay? Now, I'm going to show y'all how y'all going to do this. Everybody be like, man, this is going through too much. Sometimes you got to do that extra work if you want your stuff to be sounding different from somebody else's, all right? So... Keep that in mind. All right, so once them finish exporting, exploding, or extort, ex I said extort. Whatever they get through doing what they do, bro, we'll be back. All right, so now we got the sounds where we need them to be. Let's locate them. Okay, that's, that's them. All right. So how many sounds do we actually got? Okay, so I got 13 tracks. All right. So that's part that's important to know. All right, let's hit stop on there. Now, what you want to go to next, uh, pad programmer, okay? Go to a new track, I mean, a new sequence. Make sure you open a new sequence, okay? Now, oh, now this right here is for the people that's like, oh, you won't be able to change nothing when you want to try to change something. You still able to change something because you still got your old song and you still got all your old sequences so you can always go back and edit whatever you want to and then just repeat that one process for that one track, all right? So you can just explode one track for y'all that didn't know that, okay? Just go here and go down to bounce to track or bounce to sample. Either one of those will do the same exact thing. Okay? Not, not explode. Explode means separate the track that's within that track. It's not the same thing as what we did on there. If you wanted to bounce down to a sample, it would bounce down the whole track, the eight bars or... 120 however many bars it is bounce it down to one track or to one sample it'll do that all right then you just put it in the placement replace the other the other sound that you had on the drum pad so anyway let's go back so once you got all that done you want to go to new sequence okay once you're in new sequence make sure you are in drum program to make sure that's highlight you want to go to drum program, but you want to add a program. All right. So you want to add a new program. See how I say program four? Because I got stuff on different ones. All right. So bam. You want to program whatever the new program is. You want to tap the pad that you want to add, start on adding the sounds to. All right. In order to load up the sounds into that a lot easier, what you want to do is you want to go to locate and go to each sound. So start off with track one. Track one, put that on pad one. All right. Track two. Pad two, like that, so on, okay? So what I do is tap the pad, load the track. Tap the pad, load the track. Tap the pad, load the track. All right, tap the pad. That's pad, oh, pad, see, I almost missed it, pad four. All right, pad four. Bam. 
Then go to five. Load. Six. Program. Load. Seven. Load. All right. Eight. Already selected. Load. Nine. Load. Ten. Load. Eleven. Load. Twelve. Load. Thirteen. It's that easy. Click it. Load it. That last one, that's a, a program, something else. That's the program audio. So I don't think you want that one. All right. All right. Now you want to go back here. Hit stop, stop. You want to go here, hit the grid, or go to grid on here. And then you just want to hit the pencil icon, start off from 13, and just go all the way down. We're loading the tracks in there. All right. So that's on all of them, all 13 of them. Okay. The next thing you want to do is however many bars the song was. So the song is 120 bars. All right. See the bars right there is going to tell you. Okay. So you want to go back to the sequence. Put the same amount. 120. Do it. Okay. Now once you hit play on this, the whole thing going to play through. Hold up. The sequence, the timing different. 153. Make sure this at the same tempo too. All right. Now, this is where you can put your effect on it, at, right? I'm just letting y'all hear that just to show y'all that that's all on there. Okay. Now, this is where you put the effects in it. This is what I do personally. I go to, um, to the track, and then I hit Explode Track. Bam. What that's going to do is put each one of them on its own track. All right? It's 14 tracks used because number one is, you know, track one, actually. Okay. So, leave that muted. All right. So, so you, now you want to just go to mute track. Once you're in mute track, you can hit play. And look. Alright, so you can still put extra mutes in there too. You know what I mean? Any extra drops. Alright, y'all. So this the juicy part right here. I'm gonna show y'all how to put the effect on the whole entire song. Alright. So this is all the instruments, remember that. And it's automation now. I'm gonna delete this. We're gonna start from the stop from the top. Go in here. Pick this, but you want to go to program though, because now we put everything all the tracks on the program for see slick you feel me it ain't going through uh plugins and uh key groups you feel me we're going straight in through program all right so bam that's it that's the hack put everything into one program so uh program four Hit the thing, put it in program. Make sure it's on program or there on location. All right, let's access that mode. Now watch this. 
That ain't just one sound, that's all of them. Alright, so that's how it's done, man. Now watch me. I'm finna do an automation right here. Just to show y'all. It's real. So, um, you know, go to the same thing. Hit the record button. You know, you can do it on here too. On the MPC keys. You could, you got the, the um, automation on and off right here. Alright, but anyway, you want to go to Automation on, make sure that's on, that's lighting up red. All right, let's hit play. See how that's done. Now, when you're done doing that, hit that, cut that mug off instantly. Don't waste no time cutting that off, okay? Instantly cut that off before you make any extra steps, okay? All right, now, you can also edit this. If you want to edit that, you go to, you know, where you edited it. And you can, I say go to enable when you come into where you wanted to start and stop it. You know what I'm saying? So if you came in too early or too late, you can fix all that right here. All right, make sure you got it on time correction. So you wanna go to repeat mode, make sure that's on. Or up there at the top, either or. So that way when you grab the pencil, you can just slide that one line down. All right. So once you get all that done on there, then let's try it back. Let's hear it. Let's say you wanted some of them sounds you didn't want to be on that effect. What you can do is just copy the program or copy a, a, that sound to a different program and uh, have it playing through so it'll have a um, what's it called? bypass so it can bypass it. All right. So that's that. Real easy, man. A lot of people say it's a lot of work. But Anything worth having ain't gonna be easy. You feel me?